Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 22, continuing our Elm Creek Start from Scratch run. And uh, last episode, we got a lot of grain from a pair of contracts. We got, uh, where is it? Um, down to 55,000, but we had over 60,000 grain of wheat uh, just from the contracts, which was amazing. And we got to pay to do the contracts, so you can't go wrong with that. So that was really, really useful. Uh, I did fast forward through, as you can see, with the most of the day. No other harvesting contracts have come up. So we're going to go ahead and fast forward to tomorrow and see what's going on there. Uh, we got, not this month, but the next month, we can harvest our sorghum. But this month, we can harvest our, or mow our grass on that other field over there. So before we do anything, though, let's check this. Okay, just a bunch of fertilizing, which we're not going to be doing right now. Uh, everything looking good over here. Wheat is fine. Bread is fine. Uh, let's check the price of bread. I don't expect it to be anywhere near where we want it to be. I think it's over 1700 we want, right? Uh, we got one more month on all this, and the grass should be ready. Yep, grass is ready. So one thing I do want to do, uh, let's check this real quick. Wind rower. It's an interesting little wind rower. Okay. Um, nothing there that we care about. I do want to get us... Let's borrow our money back. Oh, I need to check... Um, what is the price we're looking for for silage? Because our silage should be ready by now. Uh, where would it be up here? Yep. Uh, was it 220-something, I think, is what we're looking for? So we're still a ways away from that. Actually, one second. Let me pull my thing back up here. My my list of prices. Yeah, we're looking for two twenty five on the silage. So we got some time. Although the silage should be ready to go. Well, we can check real quick. But I think it is one hundred percent silage now, which is going to be our first time to actually sell one hundred percent silage. Yay! Since I messed up that one time. Yep, we're one hundred percent silage. We're good stuff there. Uh, bread's coming along. We could definitely technically empty that out for right now, but we're okay for a bit. Let's get us a rear mower to get this mode quicker. I think this one right here should be fine. Although, it would be nice to get one that can do the wind rowing as well. Which would be something like that one. Right? I think this one does... The, yeah, because it doesn't output here. I think that shifts it all to the middle. I think. It's hard to tell. But I'm pretty confident this one does because it's closed off. Because it's closed off, I'm assuming it moves it to the middle. It's not cheap. Is that the cheapest one we can find? There's a $46,000 one. Is this one shifted to the middle? I am imagining no on that one. There's a $55,000 one. Compared to seventy-five. dollars let's see how much this one does. This one would have a conveyor. So this one definitely would shift it to the middle. Um... 10 meters is even 2.2 meters wider. So presumably we should be able to grab this one just fine and combine it with what we've already got, I think, maybe. We're going to grab it. We're going to see what happens. Um, it's not cheap. It is not... Oh man, do I really want to grab this, though? Come to think of it. Because eventually, yes. 100% absolutely I do want to grab this. The problem with grabbing it right now, though, is that... We're only going to be leasing it right now because we're not going to be doing it. I want to buy this is really what I want. Oh, you can get it without. Oh, the one with the wind with the conveyor belt is more expensive. Okay. Wow. A couple different. Oh, one's Convert and one's Vicon for both the exact same price. Um, okay. Well, we can't afford the $75,000 one. Man. Which does make this one the same price, basically. That does the same thing. I mean, I could just grab this just to mow it quicker, but then I do have to windrow. Technically, with the front thing, I don't actually have to windrow because it kind of already takes care of it for you. It kind of keeps a nice little pile. Well, 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 well. I guess we'll just go with what we got. Hmm. We just need a little bit more money to be able to do what I'm wanting to do. Hopefully, come January, we can sell a whole bunch of stuff and have the money that I need 
I don't, want to, I don't need the baler yet. I need the mower. Uh, hopefully, I have the money that I need to um, to get everything. At least the, the other part of the mower that we want. Let's get you rolling. Let's get you to go pick up the roller. Speaking of rolling. Definitely want to keep our eyes open for any good contracts. Speaking of which, uh, just to double check, yeah, just the cultivating and fertilizing and sowing ones right now. I, mean, I was really hoping to get some good mower stuff off the auction or the uh, used sale, but just nothing coming up. I'm missing that little line over there on the far left. It's hard to see with the grass covering it, but I actually think the edge of the field is off the edge of my roller. Oh, let's see. Just barely. All right, we're going to get a little bit more of this done um, when we come back. Uh, we'll probably be fast forwarding some bits because uh, we're looking for more contracts and things like that. But other than that, it's not a lot else for us to do today. Although tomorrow will be a busier day because we will have our sorghum to harvest. So we'll be right back. All right, just doing the last little bit of grass rolling here. 
didn't quite get wide enough. I probably could have done less overlap and gotten this less little bit, but I don't know, better safe than sorry. Won't take that long to turn around, do one more little pass. Oh yeah, not too bad. Um, it's good to have this new field though. I mean, it's 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 a pretty big size field, all things considered. So we're definitely going to be able to bump up our overall profits. Actually, I don't know if this is even counting or doing anything, but we'll let it finish. Um, so yeah, we just got to do one more month, and then we can harvest our sorghum over there. Get that start growing grass as well, and. After that, we are kind of back in the rotation for a bit longer. Uh, at some point, like I said, uh, I do want to start working on the ingredients for cake. I think that I think that's the goal of this series is to eventually make some cake. Um, but we got a lot of work ahead of us, which does mean the series is going to go on for a while. Hopefully, you guys are okay with that. Um, probably the only time I will ever make cake, actually, because uh, there's a lot of ingredients that go into it. Got you going. Uh, let's fast forward a little bit just to see if we can get another contract before we end the day. I'm not expecting anything, but you never know. Get you set up ready to roll. Doesn't look like there's going to be any more contracts. We'll let it go a little bit longer. Just the cultivating. All right, looks good. All right, slow it back down, jump out, and fast forward again. We are definitely going to have. A lot of flour. Probably more flour than we need, but that's okay. All right, sorghum's ready. We do have cultivating, fertilizing, sowing, spraying. None of those that we care about. Let's get the sorghum going. And then our grass is got one stage. In. Yeah, we've got one more stage to grow, um, which means, does mean our grass is going to be a little offset, unfortunately. Um, I might delay the mowing on 47 until 45 through 44 through 46 are ready just to kind of keep the cycle in a good, good, uh, put it on the same cycle again, I guess is what I'm trying to say. We'll see. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get this going though. Let's grab you, get you hooked up with the uh, cultivator. Although, let's grab your weight again. Again, no mulching. Just going to go straight into cultivating and all the stuff after that. We don't need any lime or anything on that, do we? Um... Does not look like it. Are we wider than the uh, harvester? I actually don't remember. Our harvester is... 5.1 meters and then this thing is what five meters. so it's actually technically a little bit wider we just we just didn't overlap it quite as much we'll just pull this off to the side a little bit give it some space uh, let me let that guy make sure he's turning around and heading back this way before we start rolling I think the cultivator goes a little bit faster so I actually probably what I will do is let him get another pass before I start you
There's somebody at my front door. <laughs> At some point I'd like to upgrade to a better harvester as well. Again, as we get bigger fields, we're just it's gonna take longer with these smaller harvesters each time. Maybe we'll see one on the auction house at some point. Well, auction house, the uh, use used lot at some point. It'd be cool if it was an auction house, but kinda pointless if you're a single player game, right? Get that rolling. Uh, we are going to get small stones, but that's okay. We are going to roll underneath that. That's fine. I'm gonna need to let the guy get a couple more passes, actually. We're just a little too close. All right, well, let him run along long and get that going a bit more. Um, again, still nothing here. I'll just check the prices real quick. Silage, it's a little bit better than spin, but still not where we want it. Bread, also still not where we want it. Uh, speaking of bread, how is the factory over here? Still not full. Got a lot of flour, though. Still got some wheat coming through. And we're about to get some more sorghum. So, yeah, we're in a good spot with all that. So of the ingredients for the cake, I think I've talked about this before, but I think the eggs will be the best first ingredient to just to have processing. And we'll sell the eggs off as is right now, right? Um, then probably, probably the strawberries, because that's pretty easy as well. The only reason I want to do the eggs first is because we've already gotten the grains coming in. Uh, and we're going to be eventually to the point, I think, that we're going to be overloading the bread factory anyway. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, strawberries coming in would be good. And then at some point, the uh, maybe we'll do the milk, probably the butter after that, and probably save the sugar for last. Sugar's, I don't want to say the most complex, but it just needs, it just needs specialized, you know, stuff. Specialized uh, uh, crop is what I'm trying to say. Let's go grab the um, trailer, get that guy unloaded a bit. All right, well, I'm going to get some more of this done. I will bring you guys back once we're a bit further along. All right, we're getting ready to seed some more grass here. Let's see if we can get this filled up a bit more.
Should be enough, I think. Or pretty close to it. Gotta turn it on, my friend. <laughs> Gotta turn it on. There we go. Alright, so I'll get that rolling. You're mostly good. Looks like you missed a couple spots. All right. Well, there's tiny, tiny, tiny bit of crop there. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna wait for that. Or come bring the guy back over here for that. All right. There we go. That is done. Cedar's going. We can get you over to the other field. Part of me wonders if. I mean, eventually I will do a few cows just to get the milk that we need. Either that, or again, I might buy it from the uh, container. I haven't decided 100% yet. Just because we've already done cows. I don't mind doing chickens again because chickens are pretty easy. They're kind of just set and forget. But cows, you know, take a little bit more work. And I don't know if I want to do more cows right now when I'm already doing cows on another run. Um, so, again, I might buy just just buy the milk. But I, I need to adjust the prices. I know I've mentioned that before. But right now the price for milk is... Where is it? It's going to be up here. There it is. Milk uh, sells for like 700 plus, right? Uh, average would be 700 and we can buy it for 52. So we definitely need to adjust that price quite a bit to make it feel fair, I guess. So I'll look at doing that at some point. In fact, honestly, what I might do is I'll just edit the files and just set everything to the average price. That way, um, now to be fair, I just realized something though. No, no, no. I was gonna say the average price might be because of its hard mode. It's, it's why it's different. But no, hard mode's a lower average price. So um, if it was on easy mode, the price would actually be even higher. I'm just gonna set it for the hard mode average price. I think that's still a fair price because that's the world we're living in right now with what we're doing. And then um, kind of go from there. So like I said, I haven't 100% decided that I'm gonna buy the milk, but. There's a chance that's the direction we're going to go with that then. I don't know. I still wouldn't mind doing the cows. I don't mind cows. I actually like cows. Um, so doing more cows would be fine. As long as it's one of the last things I did. Just to finish off the cakes. And we need, what, 70000 for the chickens? Is that right? I know I just bought one on my other run. 79000 Which, once we sell all the bread that we've got here in January, we might be able to kind of think about that, but then we won't have any grain left over because we have just potentially used all of our grain. Could save some grain just to set it aside, just to have it in case I do have enough money to do the chickens. Like how many, how much bread would we need to sell to have enough to do the chickens? It's bread and silage though, combined. I don't know, I, I don't think we're that far off. I'm gonna have to think about it. I'm actually gonna put this into the trailer for right now. We can always dump it in later. We're just gonna dump it in the trailer for right now. So that would be a good, that's a good start to chickens right there. 6,000 liters, that's that, that'll keep them going for a little while.
So you're almost done. You can pick up the roller once you're done. Get rid of all those rocks. And then we'll be in a good place for the grass again. I mean, another round of grass. And even though we may eventually put the chicken coop here on this field 44, um, it is okay to do a couple rounds of grass. I mean, we'll be able to do at least a round or two of grass uh, before it matters. So I'm okay with that. Arguably, we could put the chicken coop right here where I've been putting all these pieces of equipment, but I don't know. We'll have to see. I still think eventually just filling a field 44 is, is okay. I don't think it's... I think it's out, almost outlived its usefulness at some point. Um, actually, right here where this... Right here is probably fine for chicken coop as well, to be fair, perfectly honest. Uh, let's see here. What do we want to do? We want to grab the roller. That's what we want to do. I was over there and I forgot. Are we going to have enough seed to finish that other field? Maybe, barely. I forgot to turn it back on again. <laughs> I keep forgetting that. All right, you're looking good. Um, all right, so where are we at? The grass is growing. Getting the grass planted. We're not going to do... And nothing else to do right this second, really. Contracts popped up. All right, well, we're going to put a cut in there. I'm going to go ahead and get these fields finished up with their grass, uh, and we'll go from there. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout-out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.